Do you recall those artifact loadouts they put out a couple patches ago? It's really hoping they were gonna capitalize on that and you know make it for its like presets. But hey, didn't read it yet. Maybe it's at the end. You know, let's see. We have character building optimizations are in progress, and the trading guide is now available. So this is the February twenty eighth developers discussion. Not a bad thing, just from the first picture here. I mean, you know, newer players coming in, you got an in-game guide instead of a, you know, out of out of a game guide like on YouTube and whatnot. So, dear travelers, the newest developer discussion has arrived. 4.5 optimizations and adjustments mostly revolve around improving the character building experience. Let's check them out. All right. I mean, like I said, not a bad thing. It's just as players we were looking for you know you know what we're looking for training guide we become aware that building characters can prove to be quite perplexing for some new travelers as well as those who have just obtained a new character to this end we have developed the training guide which will provide you with character building suggestions that are based on data i hate when they do that from recently active players we hope that it will make your combat and exploration experience smoother Already, that's kind of an issue because, like, you don't, you never want to depend off of the data because it's just doing what other people are doing, which is not always going to be the best thing, right? So, but I guess it's an easy way to do it in some sort of like automatic way, just automatically tabulated and calculated. But yeah, okay, let's see. So, here we go. We got Sean Yoon, formidable, truly reliable companion adventure power so i guess this is kind of what's already in the game when you do the spiral abyss when you do a domain and you fail it at the end of it it kind of gives you a idea of like where your account is like your character level your weapons your artifacts this is actually already in the game you just don't really see it because you don't probably fail missions too often but if you fail a mission or you fail a domain you will see that in the game as well so this is kind of something similar to that except you can actually see it when you want to so we can see if we zoom in here lisa's level 20 so it says you know a bit weak go ahead and level her up too low relatively strong but room for improvement probably like artifacts level 90 stuff like that right so just like some basic things that long time players obviously already know but once again this is for newer players so it's under development, not indicative of the final product, of course. You can follow the system instructions and choose between character level, weapons, artifacts, and character talents, depending on which aspects you'd like to build. So you can see all the down arrows, obviously. Build your character, you know, level them up. You don't got artifacts at 20. Your talents are low. You know, very basic things, to be honest with you. In the character level tab, you can view whether or not leveling up characters are recommended as well as recommended or required ascension materials you know this this is good though this is good for newer players for sure because like sometimes you don't really know where you're going or what you're trying to do you can already click on things and it'll direct you to where you need to go for it but yeah you know found under the the eaves of houses you know maybe say my set in there some materials right your character ascension materials, right? And the weapon and artifacts tab, commonly used weapons and artifact configurations will be recommended based off the data of active players. See, this is where I understand, but I don't like it. I don't like it. Cause you know, it's like most people could be using something that maybe, maybe it's outdated. Maybe it's not the active thing right now. And that's just not what you want to do for certain characters. They got her on Fav, you know, and this is probably not actually true yet, but then again, it probably is. Prototype Amber, Phonius Codex, got a three star in there too. So, you know, the more general, like general characters, I can kind of understand. But once it gets a little bit more complicated, like DPS units and whatnot, you know, it's probably just going to be like the five star weapon, you know. I don't know if it actually calculates the five star weapon stuff, but we'll see. And then the artifact system is actually kind of already in the game in terms of what you should have on the character. But once again, it's the data calculated from everybody. So basically, you're just looking at a lot of basic stuff for newer players, kind of giving them an in-game guide once again. So, you know, go to this domain from the maiden set. If you don't want to do that, here's an alternative four-piece ocean clam, right? 
got your, ca your char character talent tab. The character's talents will be ranked by priority. And even that sometimes can be a little off. So, you know. That this is useful though, because this is kind of huge. It actually tells you Monday, Thursday, Sunday in this guide. So you have a place to go to to actually go, you know, know when I can farm this stuff. Because I feel like it's kind of a complicated system of like going to the thing and finding the days and whatnot. So this is actually that's that's nice. Click on small icons on the right of the enhancement content to redirect the corresponding enhancement page or show the location where you can obtain materials on the map. So you got Barbara here. She opens up the menu. And it'll show you your adventure book and where the summer materials are, of course. So nothing too crazy. Just kind of like an in-game guide. Travelers can open up the training guide from the Pymon menu. Have any questions? Feel free to give us the feedback in the channel. So yeah. Training guide is only meant to provide travelers with small suggestions for how to build your characters. It's recommended that you explore other potential enhancements. Okay, that's fair. Prepare your all in unpredictable challenges that may face you in the road ahead. Just a little, like, you know, I'm glad they did that in there at least. At least that kind of gives you an idea like, hey, these are just small suggestions. This is not the final thing you should be doing. Meanwhile, we also added some other optimizations that frequently use character enhancement pages to improve your experience when upgrading talents for your characters. 4.5 onwards, the materials needed for your upgrade talents to be to, to the next level will be shown Oh, I see at the bottom of the screen there. So you can see they'll give you, okay, that's nice. Yeah, because usually you have to click on it and you can only see what you currently need. You can't see the purple one or the other variants. Um, and if you're crowned, you actually really can't see anything because you already crowned it. So, but if you crowned it, you don't really need it anymore, do you? But it's just nice to see what the character needs even still. Like, oh, it's always nice to see what the character needs just to just to know. Well, that's about it, boys. Um, huh. Once again, not a bad thing. Not a bad thing. It's just an in-game guide, you know? I'd still implore people to make guides, though. <laughs> because once again, I think the whole tabulated thing and the whole calculation based off data, things change a lot. And if you're calculating things based off data, maybe something will change and it'll take a while for it to be calculated. Maybe a new set comes out and people are not hip to it yet and you're still farming the old set, right? So that's why I don't like the, the data kind of stuff, but it's still a nice gesture for newer players. I do, you know, and they do want to bring people in. But overall, the main thing about this is it's just for newer players. For older players, there's really nothing for us here besides the talents being on screen on the left-hand side. But besides that, it's just for newer players. It's a newer player mechanic, a newer player, uh, you know, little guide in game. That's it for the most part. So nothing too crazy this time around. Hopefully next time we'll get something for older players or people that have been playing for a bit. More quality of life stuff, more changes like that. But that's it for now. Newer player, W. But with that being said, I will catch you guys in the next one.